the tenth frame. Stephen Maguire to break. Well, that's certainly opened the reds up that break off shot. He hasn't got the white on the cushion as he intended, so. Joe Perry's looking at that red into the left corner. He dropped one in like this earlier in the match when he was 2-0 down. It was a beautiful shot and he got on the black, but boy, if this goes in, what a chance he could have. You can see he's winding himself up to take it on. Yeah, I do feel as if he's got to knock this in because the red to the right of the black will be possible. Has he got away with it? I don't think so, John. I thought it was going to drop in behind the black. But... Well, maybe it has. Maybe you're right. Commentators, I JP. Mm, there you go, eh? He has got away with it, and that is a proper result. Because if he doesn't get the kiss, he's going to leave the red above the... Just have a look at the shot. Now, watch this. Now that he's hit it thin, it's going to bounce off, leave the red to the right of the black. Then he kisses it and thought he's going to stick an even easier one up. And he thought it, but he covered it. Great cue ball there, but he's covered again. Red on the right hand side, you can see that's covered. So he's played two shots already in this frame, Joe, and he's had two dollops of luck. That's got to be a Liverpool saying, has it? A dollop of luck. A dollop of ice cream we used to have. about the pace of the cue ball here. Can he keep that red on the right-hand side covered? Well, look at Stephen Maguire, I suppose he hasn't, but he's got second prize. It's absolutely bolt straight. Even if you knock this in, Joe, it's no good. Don't know whether he'd be forced into this, though, Dennis, just to have to take it and pot it anyway and just play safe, or... May have to take it on because if he tries to play a safety shot, he'd leave that red anyway. So I don't know whether he's going to force it or just maybe just try and even if he rolled it in, it, it's a way of getting out of trouble. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing anything else but just trying to birdie the red here. This is tough as it is. You know, you can put what you can put force in this and miss it. Well, that is brilliant, Q. Brilliant, Q, and a One. brilliant shot because that looked absolutely dead straight. How well has he hit that? Fantastic shot. Now at the moment, there's only the blue to play with because the pink and black are tied up. But if he pots this red, gets a good angle on the blue, Six. he can cannon into the pink and maybe bring it and some reds into play. He was a bit straight on it, so he'll have to just roll the blue in, then play the red to the right of the bunch and hopefully leave himself the correct angle in a couple of shots' time. Perfect angle just to screw off the red, and if he could get somewhere near the line, he'd be perfect. Took his eye off the pot there. Joe Perry, 12. He may have got away with it again, so he's certainly having the run of the ball at the moment. <coughs> yeah, 
it's getting to that stage of the match, Dennis, isn't it, where Joe Perry looked like he was he was going out of the tournament a five one, arm loosened up. I think well I you know, knock a few balls and I'm gonna go home otherwise and then all of a sudden there's a chance you can win the match and the pressure reverts back onto you and you start missing a few balls you weren't missing earlier in the match. This one needs good queuing. In fact, he's changed his mind. He was going to take the pot on straight away, but there's no guarantee colour, so safety shot instead. But not a good safety. What's he done here? My word, he's made a complete mess of that. Yes, I'm looking at the table there. Initially, I think if you can get on in a couple of shots, I think the black definitely pots. So, all about whether Stephen Maguire can negotiate a positional shot off this red. Because this, if he can do, it'll be a great chance. Well, if the black, what? as you say, goes, uh, I'm sure Joe must have been looking at taking the red on and getting on the black and then changed his mind. Clearly, the black goes, so... His first choice was to take the red on, get on the black, and then he thought, I'll play a safety, and he made a mess of it. Now, Steve Maguire can play off the blue down through the gap here and get on that red that's covering the black spot. That would be ideal, because he can get that red away, get the black, get it back on its spot, and a great chance. That's the red he's played on. And this is a really good chance. Six. Well, it didn't come far enough down the table for that one. Seven. He didn't think so anyway, so had a couple of options, gone back up for the blue. Once again, could have done with a little bit more on the cue ball. Sooner rather than later, he'd like that red off the black spot. <laughs> well, he's got on that red that you suggested, John, this time, and now he's given himself... Terrific chance. 13. Now, can he play a, a little cannon when potting this just to leave? Yeah, he's perfect. He only needs to nudge the other red. Twenty. Well, twenty-one. I don't think he played it like that. That certainly bounced off more than he thought. He was trying to leave himself low on the black there. He got quite a bit of surprise. He didn't get a ping there, Dennis. He got a little ping off the cushion, as you say, John, and it's left him awkward. This was the shot. Joe was thinking of taking that red on and playing on the black, and then he changed his mind, played the safety shot, and made a bit of a hash of it, really. Brought the red up with the cue ball. He 
might be tempted to take the double on because he wouldn't leave a great deal. The cannon on the red just spoiled things there, but there's a, it's a free double, as you could call it. If it gets a double, he's on the black. If he misses it, the only red he could leave would be the one he tried to double. He's just really struggled for position to kill this match off Stephen Maguire. That's nowhere near. Well, the chance has gone back in. And Stephen Maguire, 28. As this keeps happening, it starts to get very frustrating. Shot before was the one that was the problem. Red to the black. He knows it. Wow. The red might be in as well. <laughs> Stephen Maguire, four. Fortunately for Joe, the red did drop in. But that was... Um, he's just showing you there, he's taken a practice swing that he queued across it again. That's why he missed the red <laughs> by so much. It's been a funny match in that respect, Dennis. It has been some of the finest queuing I've seen all week and some of the worst. I mean, there's been... Shots missed by an absolute mile, and some shots that you've raved about. It's uh, had a bit of everything. It's always been in the Masters, though, the first round to get through to the quarterfinal. It's always been the toughest round to win, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, that's a good cue ball. Covered that one that's near the left corner pocket, I think. So just looking to see if he could see enough of the cushion to just come off the cushion and hit, land on that red. Oh, he's just going to come off the side cushion, nestle on the, the three reds there. Oh, he's gone. That's a bit careless. That's Foul. a bit careless because he might even be able to cut this in. Full. Now that is just a lack of concentration there. Because it's a wide target, didn't matter which one of them he landed on. Yeah, very surprising. I mean this is absolutely razor thin, this red. If Steve Maguire takes this on, it is very, very thin indeed. twice across the table to cannon them and it couldn't have worked out better but we go back to Joe's shot he wouldn't have uh, had that little bit of good fortune if Joe had a concentrated and just nestled on the reds but that was a terrific shot from Stephen Maguire he deserved a bit of good fortune there but to finish on pink and black well they don't finish any better than that and that might just be Joe Perry's Seven. last visit to the table. Steve Maguire played for the plant there, has he, Dennis? Looks like he. Because what? I don't really know what other shot he's played. Unless that one next to the pink he can get through, so it must be the plant. Eight. He's had three or four plants in this uh, match, and Joe Perry knows that that is the end. Well, 14. He's 38 ahead, 75 on, but it really should be the end. He struggled so far in the last couple of frames to win the match, Stephen Maguire, but he doesn't really have to do anything with the cue ball here. Yeah, he's such a talented player, Joe Perry, but it's, this is his sixth appearance in the Masters. 22. He lost in the wildcard round a couple of times and lost in the last 16. 
the last two seasons. So just can't get off the mark. It's the toughest tournament to win of the lot, well, with the exception of the World Championship. But I mean, Stephen, he lost the last three Masters in the first round, but it's Stephen that's going through to the quarter final where he'll meet either, uh, I think it's uh, Neil Robertson or Mark Allen, John. Yeah, and that's a humdinger of a match. I mean, Sean Murphy plays Ding Jun Wei. I also think that Robertson Allen is an absolute cracking match. 29. Prospect. He'll be a bit disappointed here, Joe Paddy, in this frame. And that's 30. Stephen Rockin, the part of this match. And he just didn't keep the pressure on him. Yeah, both players making centuries. The way they set 37. off uh, before the mid-session interval, it was unbelievable snooker, but then things changed at the interval, got a little bit scrappy. Players started missing. There's another Stephen one Maguire, that's missed, 37. but barring lots of snookers, Stephen Maguire's in the quarter-final. Shake hands now that the both reds have gone in. Two. Or you would think he would, because that has just spoiled his chances, knocking both reds in. He may have snookered himself here. Nine. 52 in it, 35 on the table. Joe Perry, nine. He's looking at the scoreboard as Joe. He almost came over to shake hands. That's how to get a snooker, Dennis. Yeah. Just play across nice and slow here. Don't do anything daft and hit the black. Well, he needs five snookers at the moment, does Joe. Target he might go in off the red, but nice feeling for Stephen Maguire, the opponent needing five four point snookers. He'd be totally relaxed out there, Stephen Maguire. Pressure will be off. Wow. Yeah, Steve Maguire, the seven, frame on the mat. Both players started off like a house on fire. Yeah, it all yeah, changed yeah. after the mid-session interval. It was a great effort from Joe Perry to come back from 5-1 to 5-4. But in the end, Stephen Maguire takes the match and he goes through to the quarter-final, a 6-4 victor.